Okay, welcome back. Uh, so basically now, this is a message I was telling you about. Um, so now, the upgrade is actually, the cat upgrade script is actually uh, complete. Uh, it's done. Um, so now, it's, it's going to say, okay, I was found doing upgrade. Uh, this has you uh, doing the upgrade process as opposed to uh -huh. So this is the file that I have to run as a cat, UBBSD, uh, SQL script. Um, so what I need to do now is again, as you can see, I'm all, I'm locked out of my account. Uh, I'm back to the, um, the OS level uh, to my command line. So what I need to do is I need to set overcall SID. So actually, you know what? Uh, just to be on the safe side, what I've also found to be useful is uh, to not use the same window uh, for all these steps. So let me. I can have my command line you know, just open up. Yes. Okay, so what I what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use this window to log back into my Apollo account Apollo uh, database again. Of course I need Apollo SQL. And I'm logged in. So what I need to do now is, if I do this, select status from the uh, instance. Just make sure my database is still open. Okay. So what I do now is, I'm trying to think. So what I did before. Okay. So I, I definitely I want to run. I want to run the cat. Uh, I want to run the script, but basically, I just need to make sure that it, that it actually um, goes through uh, and, I, and I, you know, give me an error and I have to start it over. So, anyways, let me try it out. Um, let me do this. Minimize this. Um, copy this. And then add. Remember, I told you you can use the add symbol. So you can use the execute, or you can use the. Um, actually, you know what? I take that back. I take everything that I said back. You have to use the add symbol to open up a SQL script. Execute would be more if you were running a DBMS package. So that it that is an error on my part. So not this. On the add symbol, okay. So let me do this cat uppst. Uh, and let me try it out. So, as you guys can see, what it says, right? So, it's just going to migrate the baseline data. So, uh, this is just to complete the output process. Um, Okay, and another thing is, as I've told you before already, uh, I am performing an upgrade on 11 on 11 11 GR2 uh, with a uh, with uh, which is 0 0.01. So basically, it's it's not going to be um, a get complete turn it complete upgrade or complete turnover. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is. This is usually what what this is usually what happens. Like it gets to this point and it and it stays there, and it's not gonna um, it's not gonna basically just go through with the uh, with this uh, SQL script. But if you if you had the right version of Oracle uh, of uh, of uh, of eleven G uh, installed, then basically this will not happen. Um, so what I'll do now is I am going to go into my services. I am going to then. I need to find my Apollo service. I'm gonna stop it. Okay, 
again, if you have, if you have, again, as I've already said, if you have a 12, a 12 G, let me look at it, let me go back to version uh, that I told that I, uh, before, if you have any of these versions, um, you will not, if you have, you know, point, uh, point zero, uh, uh, point zero, point two, you have point zero, point three, point zero, point four, you, you will not have this problem. I'm, I'm only doing this for demonstration purposes. I currently have 11 G release 11.2.1.0.1 so definitely I'm not gonna have a a, um, a, 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 a an upgrade um, that's gonna you know be you know uh, the right you know with the right version that I need so uh, I'm almost gonna have this in my I may, I may have said it or not, but I'm also gonna put up. Uh, it, it should be, it should also be, my, it should, it should be. I'll, 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 I'll check my, um, my uh, depression settings to see to, to repost it if it's not there already. So I'm stopping the service. So stopping the service, we're gonna basically just uh, get this, uh, you know, also come to a, uh, come to a stop. Okay, my service is stopped. And as you can see, this is done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna I'm not gonna um I'm not gonna um uh, worry about this for now. So what I'll do is I wanna restart my service. So I'm gonna close this window, open up another command prompt. I'm gonna restart my service. Let me just make sure. Okay. Restart my. Local photo service. There you go. Restart it. As you got, as you can see, it's up and running. So what I'll do now is I'm gonna set my local SID to um, my my uh, database, which is a follow. -up. Okay. And what I'll do now is I'm gonna minimize this. I am going to then. I bought, so I already ran this trip, so I'm uh, that's fine. Um, what I need to do next is I need to start up upgrade P file, and then I'm going to run my I want to run uh, my my init file again. Let me see if I can find it. this uh, slash in it Apollo get over and this is going to start up my database again um, so basically in terms of how we go if you had a uh, if you had a bad version you would not have to stop the service you mean you wouldn't have to you know close your window you would just allow for the cat the cat uh, uh, UPPS uh, script, uh, you know, come to completion. Um, so I just need to wait for my database to be open. So what I, in terms of in terms of what you have left so basically when I log back in what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this script to basically to also examine my my post my post upgrade environment uh, to see which objects uh, what what the state of my objects are um, and basically after that I'm going to run this 
UTL RP uh, script, and this is gonna recompile uh, any objects that are that basically were were became invalid um, because of the my because of the upgrade operation. So, okay. Um, And also, uh, in terms of, in terms of, the, um, you know, additional steps that you can, additional action you can, you can do, um, you know, for your environment. I know you probably um, find, you know, some, um, you know, post advise you to, you know, work, you know, to do some things to your listener. Basically, I found that 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 basically is not, um, like, it doesn't. It hasn't affected um, what I what I'm do, what, what, what you know my upgrade. So um, again, you might have to you know do more research for environment. But that definitely uh, you know listener um, from my from, from what I've uh, from the, 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 you know the upgrades uh, I perform um, is not it's not that it's not that integral uh, in terms of you know upgrading the database. I'm just waiting for the database to be open. Is that open? So what I need to do now is I'm gonna need to run this script. So I will put the S symbol again. I need to get to my admin directory. Copy this. Paste. Let me see what was that noise. Okay. Anyways, so paste it, and then run utlu. One two one again. Um, S. Oh man, no. That's what the noise was about. So it didn't. It did not copy my my uh, directory location properly. So S symbol again. Admin. Uh, U T L U. One two one yes. So um, just on a side note, the I is for pre-install, um, and the S is for post-install. So we want you need to run this, and basically it's gonna tell you if you were if you were to do a um, a um, you know an actual upgrade. Basically, it's gonna say okay, upgrade complete, obviously, right? Um, and if you look at if you, if you look at the source of my problem, as I told you before, so it's not supported from version from version um, from version eleven point two point zero point one. So that's the reason why, um, as I told you before, already. Um, so what I'll do next is I'm gonna run. A, uh, this final step, the uh, UTLRP again. The UTLRP is just gonna recompile my objects. UTLRP. 
So basically, so if you had, if you had a, uh, if you, if you had, if you had a right version of, of the local software, right, and you run it, the RP, the UTR RP at the end, it would basically just recompile all the invalid objects, uh, and basically, and um, and basically make them you know, compatible for with your, with the upgrade environment. So, what I'll do for now is I'm actually gonna stop. stop right here and I'll pick it up when uh, you know to take you to uh, the last steps of, um, of the upgrade uh, thank you so much for watching